Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll demonstrate how you can read a PLC program from the HANA PLC and also write the PLC program from your computer into the HANA PLC. The acronym that they use in the HANA's world or any other PLC world is upload. Upload means to read from the PLC. Download means to write to the PLC. With that being said, uh, in order to get this thing done, you will need a USB cable. One side is going to be USB A connectors, male. On the other side is going to be USB mini connectors, as shown in the picture here. So on the USB A male connector, you'll be connecting to your computer. And the USB B side will connect it to the HANA PLC. Like I show, like I'm doing right now here on the screen. Once the connections are made, as you can see, I'm using a VMware on my computer. I'm just gonna click OK for now. And uh, the way to check would be to go to your device manager. Click on your Windows on the bottom left hand corner, and over here type device manager. Click on the device manager to open it up, and open your COM port. If you do not see your USB COM port that you expected to see for the Honor PLC, uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to go to players. Because mine's a VMware, I'm going to have to do this. But if you're doing on a base computer, you don't really have to do these steps. So go to USB controller and hit connect. And what you'll see is a COM port dedicated to Honor will be here. Right? So I'm using COM port 3. So I'm going to close this. Okay. With that all being said and the USB connected, now you're ready to go online with the controller and read the PLC program from the controller. For that, I'm going to use Seascape 9.9 uh, .9 SP5. Once that's started, a splash screen will come up here shortly. Click OK. And next, it'll give you an option to select which uh, route did you choose to connect to your, P uh, to your PLC. I'm using USB. Click Next. I'm using COM port 3. Click Finish. With that being said, and if you look at the bottom uh, right-hand corner of the Seascape, you can see that the uh, the program is not equal, which means uh, what you have here in this uh, Seascape is not the same as what you have on the PLC. Another thing you need to know in the bottom right hand corner, the local ID is 253. By default, that is the ID that comes out, out of the factory. So just to remember that 253 is the number that you're after. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to read the PLC program from the Honor into my computer here. Go Programs. And again, we're using the acronym upload and the network ID is 253 and click OK. So it goes goes about and read all the uh, programs from the PLC. Uh, by the way, this is a default program that comes out of the XLEE uh, Honor PLC. So I'm just going to give it a few moments here to read all the programs that's available in here. Once the PLC is done reading the program, let's save it into my desktop, let's call it uh, YouTube demo or something, right? And click save. Once you save it, now you have the program. Now, in order to write this program into the PLC, what you do is you go program and you do an error check. That's a pretty common thing to do before you upload any program. Hit OK. Then now you're ready to download the program, this program to your PLC. So you're going to go programs, download. Okay, so now that to give you a few other options here. The first check is to only download changes, or you can choose to download set points, uh, and then verify all and download. So normally I do this one here. Uh, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna make I'm gonna have to make a small little change here like that. Program, error check, everything's good, and I'm gonna go ahead and verify as well. And they say the program's not the same, right? Because what what we have here is not the same as what's in the PLC. So I'm going to go ahead and download the program. Put a check on download changes. Our changes are here. And I'm going to let it download for a few moments. As you can see, the download is relatively fast because the only thing that they downloaded is this small little change. While you are reading, you're reading everything else, right? So, so I hope this tutorial helps. Uh, if it does, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Other than that, you have an awesome day. Bye.